Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components, and today we have the first installment of our next aircraft refurbishment project. This is a 1980 Piper PA-28-161 Warrior. Uh, this was a salvage aircraft that we bought in Waynesburg, Pennsylvania. This was a flight training airplane and a flying club aircraft for uh, most of its life. This aircraft has just shy of 11,000 hours and we are going to do a complete refurbishment of this uh, particular aircraft. So with me today I have my daughter Sarah Williams and she will be the recipient of this aircraft. So Sarah tell us a little something about yourself. This is April of 2019. Uh, you just had a birthday. I'm now 17. I sold when I turned 16 and I'm currently working on finishing up getting my private license. And Sarah, how many hours do you have right now of flying time? Around 30. So being 17 now, uh, you're able to focus on uh, finishing up, getting your private check ride out of the way. And uh, so now, as you know, uh, your two older sisters each had an airplane. We started with a 1967 Cessna 150 for Samantha. Uh, we did a 1969 Piper Arrow for Sydney. So we've practiced on those two airplanes, so finally on this airplane we've got everything uh, correct this time, right? Correct. This will be the perfect airplane. So uh, anyways, we brought the airplane in. Uh, Grandpa and I went and picked this up uh, a week ago today and uh, took it all apart, loaded it on the trailer, and brought it back here to Kendallville. So in one week's time, we've already uh, gutted the airplane We've already stripped the paint off of the aircraft, and uh, we're now we're starting to get the uh, whole project ready for refurbishment. So, Sarah, uh, the long-term project, and this will be about a year in the making here. We always say it'll take six months, but we know it's going to take longer than that. But uh, for an overview of this airplane here, uh, when we get all finished with this, uh, what color? What kind of colors do you think for exterior colors? Well, I'm thinking red, but we're still trying to decide if we want the whole thing white with red stripes or if we want the whole thing red with black and white on it with a black interior and red embroidery. Very good. So red always looks good on an airplane. It makes it look fast just sitting there on the ramp, so I think that's a good choice on the colors there. And then also, uh, we're going to do a... Uh, personalized end number this time as well. Uh, we've got several reserved. You haven't have you picked one out yet, or do you know which one you want to use? We have one in mind. We we'll have one in mind. Okay, so we'll save that for another episode. So, anyways, we've brought this airplane in. This was a salvage. Uh, this particular aircraft was uh, damaged in a uh, taxiing incident. Uh, the right hand wing hit a construction barricade. The aircraft spun around. Uh, we had a prop strike. Uh, on the uh, fuel pump uh, there at the on the ramp, so uh, the prop was bent, so that'll uh, uh, force a uh, engine tear down as well. So we brought the aircraft in. Uh, this will be one of our refurbishment projects where we go through the whole aircraft and uh, replace uh, as many items as possible, uh, new panel, new interior, uh, uh, everything like that. So as you can see, uh, we've stripped the paint off of the fuselage. Uh, the upper tail cone skin has not been stripped because that will be replaced, uh, getting rid of all the old antenna holes uh, in the upper surface of the tail cone. The lower tail cone skin also will be replaced. Uh, right here behind Sarah, we can see this uh, lower skin underneath the baggage door. It has uh, some distortion in it where the wing hit it uh, when it uh, when the wing hit the construction barricade. So that'll get replaced as well. Engine wise. Uh, we're going to change out the uh, 160 horse uh, Lycoming 0320 uh, with a Lycoming 0360, part of the uh, Bold Warrior uh, conversion STC. So we'll have the 180 horse conversion uh, overhauled engine on there with a brand new propeller. Uh, we're going to use the LP Aeroplastics uh, windows in here. Uh, we've already got all new windows ordered up. Those will be coming here shortly. Uh, we'll do the one-piece windshield, just like we did on Sydney's Arrow. Uh, the one-piece uh, windshield, the thicker side windows as well. Uh, we will already uh, have a set of wings built up uh, for this aircraft uh, with brand new wings. We'll get into that here shortly. Uh, of course, all new control services, all new hardware, uh, everything we can to uh, upgrade this. 
LED strobe and nav lights, LED landing lights, LED recognition lights as well. So I think this will be a top-notch aircraft when we get all done with it. Mm -hmm. Sarah, anything else you think we ought to include in this uh, program here? What about an upgraded panel? The uh, instrument panel, of course, uh, we'll be using Muncie Aviation again, and we'll go with the Garmin suite. Uh, of course, uh, in the 150, we've got the Garmin uh, GTN 650. In the Arrow, we have the 750. So we'll probably do the 750 in this panel also. Of course, uh, Garmin just uh, uh, released the uh, G3X uh, cert for certified aircraft, so we'll probably have to have a uh, full uh, panel in this one here, a full uh, flat panel display for you. I uh, think that ought to do the trick for you. I'm sure. That'll probably do it. So part of the restoration of this aircraft will be replacement of the wings. Being in the wing rebuilding business, we happen to have a set already built and ready to go. Uh, these have been totally refurbished, all brand new scans. We also have brand new main spars on these wings. With the pending AD on the PA-32 and PA-28 series aircraft, uh, we want to make sure that uh, these are essentially zero-timed wings. Having my little girl flying around in this airplane, we want to make sure that it's safe, so uh, uh, we're going to have these wings in there. We are also going to replace the lower spar cap on the spar carry-through in the fuselage as well. So this will give us essentially a uh, brand new uh, structure from tip to tip on the aircraft. So one other project that I jumped on uh, really quick this last week then was to totally dismantle the landing gear and strip the paint off all of the components on that as well. Uh, of course, we're going to overhaul the main cylinders here. We bought refurb kits from McFarland. Uh, we'll get those rebuilt. All these will go for paint. Uh, I'm thinking silver paint on all the landing gear components and assemble it, of course, with all brand new hardware as well brand new tires and tubes, but I think that would give us a sharp undercarriage. Uh, we'll do the nose gear at a later time when we get ready to change out the engine mount. But uh, once we get this all refurbished, then these landing gears will be ready to bolt back onto the wings before we put the wings onto the aircraft. So I think that's a good start for the first week of having this project in-house. Sarah, what do you think about this airplane project? I'm just so excited to get it moving forward. Good, we'll finally have one for you. Most girls uh, will get a uh, car for their birthday. Uh, we end up getting you a wrecked airplane, so maybe we can uh, make something of this here in the next year's time. That's all for today's episode. Stay tuned to the Airframe Components YouTube channel for more updates on this project.